Nature of Easel. And today I'm going to be talking about a topic, so you want to join the Navy. I joined the Navy um, in the year 2015, um, to be exact, March 2015. And I've been in the Navy for close to two years now. And um, I've learned a couple of things. And before I joined the Navy, I'm a YouTube person. I love to go on YouTube and like, you know, do some research. Or like listen to some reviews before I buy a product, listen to people that have gone through a particular experience that I'm about to go through before I go into it, if you know what I mean. But at that point, I couldn't really find a, a lot of people that um, have been in the Navy for a while and actually uh, spoke about the experience before they joined the Navy, after they joined the Navy, things to respect from the Navy. <clears throat> so I was supposed to start this YouTube channel for the Navy. Uh, about my experience um, of being in the Navy um, sometime last year because I went on deployment last year and I'm like, okay, I'm going to start a YouTube channel for people that want to join the Navy and don't know what to expect. But uh, it didn't happen. So this is 2017 and I'm like, before this year ends, I don't care, you know, if I just make one video before this year ends, I must achieve that dream or that goal that I wanted to do. I just have to. I don't care if the video comes out, not a did it or anything. I just have to do it like, was stopping me from doing it. So it was perfect for me to make a video now since I also just got back from deployment. So I've been in the Navy for two years and I've gone on two different deployments. And like, it all depends on every command you go to your others. You could get others to every command for like two years or three years. So my com my others I got for the first command was two years. So I don't want to go ahead of myself. Let me tell you what to expect from the Navy. And yes, let's get into it. So first of all, I want to talk about swim swimming a swim call i'm not a swimmer i know how to swim for nothing i wasn't taught how to swim i don't know how to ride a bike too don't laugh for me but i wasn't taught you know how to ride a bike i wasn't taught how to swim and that affected me i have a cousin who's still in the navy she joined the navy before me and she told me you need to learn how to swim girl so i tried taking some swimming lessons and that didn't work out for me i was so bored of the, of the lessons so i just stopped going so that affected me in boot camp. <clears throat> I got a boot camp and because of and because I didn't know how to swim and it's one of the um calls you have to get before you graduate boot camp. I was delayed back, I was sent to feet because I didn't learn how to swim. I didn't pass my swim test. So I had to go to feet until I learned how to swim and then I passed. And the swim test was, was it was so scary for me. It was the scariest of all things for me. Cause I, you they had to push you from a tower, you jump into the water and then I felt like, and then your life begins. You have to swim for your life, right? And that was when I died. <laughs> you know, not died, but yeah. I couldn't swim, so they, you know, they have divers in the water. That would just come, you know, but that couldn't know how, that for people, blah, blah, blah. Or well, then you know how to swim. They had divers in the water, take them out of the water, and then just put them in a certain place. And okay, yeah, you feel you didn't know how to swim. So let, f um, if you want your parents to come for your graduation, if you want people to come see you, make sure you learn how to swim. Because if not, girl, guy, whoever, you'll be sent to feet and then you might actually end up missing a day. You might actually end up missing your graduation and you just graduate to another set, but you don't really have a graduation. Secondly, I want to talk about ASVAB. ASVAB, ASVAB is pretty much the exam you take before you get into boot camp. Before you get into boot camp, yeah. I want to tell you to study. People say don't study, just take it, whatever. But I promise you I want you to study because when you study, you get to have like so many jobs available to you. We also call jobs rates. So if you study, you have a lot of rates available to you. Now your rates or your job is pretty much what you're gonna do for the Navy. It's your assignment for the Navy. You could be a cook, I'm a cook. I love to cook and I love to eat. Uh, you could be a cook, you could be an IT, you could be a CCT, you could be an engineer, you could be a bosun mate, you could be there are so many rates in the Navy. I can't even begin to count it on my finger. Like, I'm gonna go to them. This channel is gonna be about a Navy. It's gonna be about so many other things. But there's so many. There's aviation. There's a lot of rates. So the more you study, the higher your score, the more jobs you have available for you, the more rates you have available for you. Um, and then you get a peak. Now the Navy just don't give you. You have a lot of, but now you have the option to ask your recruiter, or what is this job about? Or what is that job about? Or go on Google and research your job. And yeah, so the more, if you study for your ASVAB, you pass, you and you have a high score, you have more rates and jobs available for you. 
Thirdly, now there was a distance from family. Say you want to join Navy, think about distance from family because since you joined Navy, first of all, you're already being sent up to Chicago. That's where the boot camp is. <clears throat> That's already away from family, especially if, if you're not from Chicago. I'm from Texas, originally from Nigeria, but I decided in Richmond, Texas. So that was already away from family. I've never seen snow in my whole life. So 2015, March was the first time ever I saw snow. Oh my God, it was freezing, but it was a beautiful sight. So yeah, just think about, I'm going off topic now, but just think about this since from family. I was able to survive because um, I, Back in Nigeria, I went to boarding school, so I already knew what it was to be away from family and still be focused. So just think about that. If you've never been away from family, it's really going to be tough for you. And I know it's going to be so hard. So think about, am I ready to stay away from family for a long time? Do I think I can survive this? You know, think about that. The fourth thing I want to wear is deployment. People be like, people hate deployment, but I love deployment. I love deployment and the sense that I think that's a time for you to really grow career-wise. That's the time you're actually really focused. And you get to get your calls if you're on a whatever ship you are on. You get to get um, a pin. You either get your surface pin, you get your air pin, you get your IW. You decide on which pin you want to get. So my last deployment, I got my surface pin. And for every ship, I was on an LPD from an LPD 18 years in New Orleans, and um, now I'm an um, Ronald Reagan is a carrier. So for every ship there, you have to recall. So I got my surface pin on the. New Orleans. Now I have to recall um, on the air carrier because it's a different class of ship. So my goal for deployment, I always I learned how to have make goals for every deployment because when you make goals for every deployment, deployment becomes becomes easy for you because you have um, a goal you're walking towards. You want to lose weight. You want to. There's so many things to keep you going in the game. And I'm, what I noticed is that every deployment they also have what are called biggest loser, and the person that loses the most weight gets to win prizes and stuff like that. The first runner up, the second runner up, and the third runner up. Also, we have bingo. You keep playing bingo. Like there's so many things you can achieve from deployment. Your calls, work on your calls, your pins, work on your pins, putting your best during deployment. It's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be so difficult. There'll be so many people complaining around you, but just focus and just stay focused. And I promise you, the plumbing is going to go like this. It really is. And then those pot calls could be so worth it. Um, my last deployment, I got to go to like, I want to say like eight different countries. I went to Thailand. I went to Bahrain. I went to Dubai. I went to Sri Lanka. I went to Kuwait. I went to Djibouti. I went to Hawaii. Yes, yeah, seven different countries. Yes, it was amazing. It was the best one of my life. And I had two amazing best friends, a very, very close friend, Jessica and Russell. And I had an amazing team. They were just, it was so amazing. I had so much fun. I'm not even going to lie to you. I had so much fun. I ate, I love to try food. Oh my God. So imagine me. I was trying all kinds of food and I met a lot of friends. It was an amazing time. The plumbing is really, really amazing. Forget what people say. I'll go more in depth in another video. If you guys have any questions about deployment, I'll go more in depth in another video for you. But deployment is really an amazing time. It has its ups and downs, but it's really, really amazing. Um, the fifth thing I want to talk about is negativity. Get ready for some very negative people. Oh my God, you don't understand. You have to be very strong. You have to have a very strong personality. To not get intimidated or not get influenced by the negative people around you. Because I promise you, there's so many negative people around. I'm not even joking. It's like, they just, everywhere in the Navy. The Navy is not that hard. Don't get me wrong. You can have a very terrible chain of command. You can have a great chain of command. Every leadership is, you know, different. So it all depends on your chain of command. My first command, oh my God, I cannot... Tell you how amazing my chain of command was. It was, the, oh, they just grounded me in like what the Navy is really all about. I got as many calls as, you don't, it's, uh, I'm so, I don't know how to explain it. That's another video again. I keep saying, I don't want to make this video too long. I want to make it straightforward because this is just pretty much um, the topic of so you want to join the Navy. I just want you to try as much as possible to stay away from negative people because if you surround yourself among, if you surround yourself around negative people, they're going to bring you down and then you forget the reason why you joined the Navy. And next thing I want to talk about is money. Don't join the Navy if you want to make money. It's not for people that want to make money. I'm telling you. It's not. Because to make money, you still have to 
uh, rank up. You have to have been in Navy for at least a good five, six years. You have to, I don't know, you just, no, I know, let me not say I don't know, you just have to, don't know because oh my god, I want to make money, no honey, no child, except you're like 17, 18, yes, you don't have no bills to pay, especially in America, you don't have no bills to pay, you don't have no car note, you don't have nothing, yes, okay, you're making money then, you know, when you make money, be careful, save it, instead of you just spending it and blowing, but if you don't have no bills to pay, no car note, no nothing, then yes, no credit cards to pay off. Okay, then yes, you're making a little bit of money here and there. But don't join the Navy because you, you want to make money. Except you decide to make a career out of it. Then I'll tell you, yes, in the long run, you're going to make money. Um, um, You want to join Navy because you want to go to school. That is a great thing. It's amazing. That's one of the reasons I joined the Navy. But you also have to realize that most of the times you really, um, it all depends on where you're situated. And you have to be really focused, you know, to like put in for your TA, put in TA is called your tuition assistance because that's what you need to go to school. You have to be focused to like, you know, keep it going and like when you're about to go on deployment, how you gonna continue when you go on deployment, how you gonna continue, how you gonna readjust after deployment. You have to think about all those things. But going to join the Navy because you wanna go to school is also a great thing. Especially if you wanna become a medical doctor. That's I'm gonna talk about that later on because it's really a good thing because they actually have a whole different program. I think it's called an MECP or something. They have a whole different program if you want to become a medical doctor. They help you. There are so many benefits in joining the Navy. I promise you. Um, next I want to talk about, I have my book right here. <laughs> so I was, as I'm looking down. Next I want to talk about is a mentor. Find yourself a mentor. When I'm in the mentor, find yourself a good mentor. Now, a mentor is somebody that I say has been in the Navy for like, hmm. I wouldn't say eight years, roughly eight years, eight to ten years, and has had a lot of experience under his or her belt. Not just that, the person he or she is still keeping and still adhering to the Navy standards because you have people that have been in for eight to ten years and now they don't care anymore and it's just chilling and they don't even adhere to the Navy standards, rules, and regulations. So find you a mentor, he or she, whoever that you look up to someone that is still like in the that is still in that is definitely the navy and still trying to achieve more trying to become you know a senior chief in 10 years trying to become a master chief that has goals that is still like going you know find yourself someone and you know talk talk to the person please i like you i like you know i want you to be my mentor i want you to direct me i want you to help me out because i don't know which way to go and i need someone to, you need the mentor as soon as you join the navy you know what i'm saying like as soon as you get out of boot camp and you get to your first command, you need a mentor before all those negative people begin to lynch in you and just like suck up your energy. The last thing I want to talk about is your goals. Have a goal. Have a goal. You want to join the Navy because you want to go back to school. You want to join the Navy because you want to have a surgery. You want to join the Navy because you want to explore the world. You want to join the Navy because it's a tradition in your family. You want to join it because of anything. Have a goal. Just like I have a goal when I go on deployment. Have a goal for joining the Navy. Have a, that is, I feel like that should have been like my number one thing. So you want to join the Navy, have a goal. Yes, that should have been my number one thing. But it's the last, you know, save the best for the last. So have a goal. Have a goal for yourself. Have a goal, whatever it is. And lynch into it. So when you talk to your mentor, that is what he or she is going to be working with. And then you still stay motivated to be in the Navy. So I hope this video has helped anyone that's about to join the Navy. If you have more questions, I don't care what it is, ask me. I will leave my email address below also so you could send me an email address. Ask me questions. I'll be glad to help you and help you with the process of joining the Navy. I will also tell this to everything you love is the good and the bad. You know, and for me, like, me joining the Navy, I think the only thing that I really... You know, the like I love my family so much, and me being away from them, it breaks my heart. I miss them a lot. This is Christmas period. I'm all the way here in Japan. I miss them. I want to be home with my family. So you know, they're always every good thing is you know. There's always a there's always an effect. So until later, my name is Nora Kenny Chirizu, and subscribe to my channel if you like this. And I'll be making more videos as often as possible. It's just a beginning, you know. So I'll see how this goes, and I'll see if you are interested in this. So until then, love y'all. Bye.